round one, and we've got to keep. I'm not going to play, I think, either of our cards on turn two, unless they have a creature, then we probably play the Skin Witch. Hmm. I mean, I guess we play Skin Witch now, and the reason is, I'm not going to wait until turn 6 to play it, and if you think about it, I'm most likely just going to go turn 5 Kavu, turn 6 Kavu, so why wait until turn 7 to play the Skin Witch? I think I'd rather just get a 1-3 on the board there. Well, that's, a, if I'm going to draw a land... I'll draw a Memorial to Folly. So opponent misses land drop, which means they got seven gasoline cards in their hand. Well, if you're going to discard a card, one that comes back is pretty good. Alright, so we're actually going to pre-combat the Kavu in case they have Syncopate. Because we can pay for it. So I'm actually not going to play Grun. I'm going to play the Kavu. Because like I said, if they have Syncopate, I would really like to pay the one there. Okay. So now we can play Grun, or do I want to wait because, yeah, I can kick, probably? Yeah, that makes sense. So now we just go Kavu. Attack for one, play the Druid. Sure. And I can do Memorial to get back Kavu. Yeah, I think Memorial is actually... I've been undervaluing how good that card is. Especially if I'm in green all the time where I'm ramping. I really want something like Memorial to... To Folly. Really useful card to get back your win cons. Blessed Light is good, but unfortunately, no white mana yet. So we'll get in with the Kavu. And we'll drop the big old fat Grun. Fatty Grun. Who doesn't even need to attack alone anymore, does he? All right, opponent tapped their mana and then conceded. Maybe they just decided it wasn't worth giving me information. So they're playing green as well, oddly enough, since at least from this game's information, it seemed like green would just be their splash color, and splashing for ramp is typically not a great idea. Um, didn't really get a ton of information. 
I mean, like I said, we have a lot of sideboard options. Question is, did we get enough information from this match, or from that game rather, to know what's worth bringing in and what's worth taking out? And I would say the answer is no. I think we got we have to uh, keep it going and see what other information we can get. Okay, cool. This is a keep. All right. Guess we can drop a candle. We don't have play historic get value cards in here, so seems fine. So we probably just play the Thalid next turn because we don't really need the Envoy's services at the moment. Alright, so we'll cast that down. So salad also works really well with the vicious offering. Sap herd. Okay. So I'll drop an envoy and pass. Okay. So they do have a fight with fire in their deck, which is something we have to be concerned about. Guess I could attack with a Thalid there. Hmm. Well, this actually works out okay. Oh, I guess I sh should have sacked the sap really. And then that thing wouldn't have been able to fight. Whoops. Oh, I like that. Keep milling our Sylvan Awakenings with Windgrace Acolytes, aren't we? I'm noting a, noticing a trend here. I think we're just going to take this. Currently ahead on the race because of the Acolyte life gain. OK, 
kill down Raider. All right. Hmm. Guess we just hang out. Kind of hoping to get a land so I can kick the skin witch. So we'll fight the raider here. Yeah, because if they have the fight with fire and they're just saving it for a rainy day, this skin witch will come up huge. Although we need another black, don't we? Alright. That's a little more difficult. Well, guess we're going to play the Abomination. If they fight with fire, they got us, but we've only got one of our two blacks uh, necessary for the Skin Witch there. We do feel like a big old fight with fire is coming. Oh, geez. That's pretty rough. We take 11. Well, I guess we're not dead. Still just sort of a black man away from not having to worry too much more here. I um, guess we play another abomination and then pass. Yeah, it looks like they're going to get us with the fight with fire. Which is kind of funny, because this skin witch would have just done everything we needed it to this game. If we got in that second black mana, we would have just wrecked that plan. But that's alright. So, let's go to game three. I feel very good about this match. I think our late game plan is much better than our opponent's. So, I feel confident that we can win this. Um, let's see here. Did Fungal Infection do anything? Yeah, it's going to be good against the Overseer. I'm going to want it for that. Uh, everything else is probably fine, I guess. Alright, we'll play first. Yeah, it's a keep. Nice hand. Druid is very good with this hand, actually. Our deck is actually just... Druid's better than Lano Elves in our deck with the Kicker. Because we just have so much. Land is pretty huge there. So we can get our second green... And a white as well. And pass. Then we can just drop some feral abominations like it's hot.
Mm, Tayo was a pretty good one. Can I, let's see, I can probably play this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So five, yeah. Well, yeah, we can go Cavu plus Salad. That's pretty good. So let's get in with our Abomination here. And then we'll go Cavu plus. salad and that's a pretty good arsenal of dudes that must be dealt with here It's not bad either. I still think this is an abomination turn though, so um and this takes four mana total to do all the goodies. So we'll get in with our Thalad and the Abomination because we want to get some chump blockers off the board anyway. Okay. It's an interesting choice. I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. So let's get in there. Mm. It might still make sense to just get a Kavu back or something. Probably does. Um, <clears throat> I don't have the mana to bring it back, and so I guess we'll just do it at the end of our opponent's turn here, since we can't play it anyway. But, I mean, I could get a couple cards out of their hand with the Skin Witch, but I don't know. When they're at four cards, I feel like it doesn't hurt as bad, and I kind of want to get something else on the board here. I mean, I could take the Feral Abomination, and I guess the main reason to do that, it doesn't have Trample, but Death Touch is just so valuable. I probably want the Death Touch more than the Trample. Yeah, I think so. Because double blocks are going to be a thing with Tatyova, probably. So I would rather have the Abomination back. 
So they put two cards in the bottom. Got it. Sure. So Skin Witch is looking a little bit better now. But I'm probably try my best to wait until they only have uh, two cards left in their hand. If I can. I might not get that luxury, but we'll see. So get in there. The Abomination again. Play another one. I'm guessing another fight with fire. Yep. So, I guess we'll play the Acolyte here. Maybe it'll get them to keep the uh, uh, Thinger back, the Sphinx. Maybe not. Hmm. Hmm. What's the play here? Doesn't look like we can win the race, so... Suppose we just trade and take six. So... Take care of this thing now. And I guess we'll get in for one. Eh, we probably need to chump the Grand Warlord. Let's see, it doesn't look like we have any means to deal with the flyer. Okay. So we'll play Envoy and I guess act like we have something for the Sphinx. All right, see you round two.